So today, you know, we found out that the Ravens and the Steelers are not going to be playing on Thursday. This obviously drums up a bunch of anger on um, 49ers Twitter today right away. As soon as I found that out, I was like, oop, here it goes. And and literally, boom, 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 it was right there. So um, talk to me a little bit about it, you know, what you what you think, you know, and then we'll go around and we'll give our takes. I think it's Nick Mullins' fault. I think it's Nick Mullins' fault. I think if Jimmy Garoppolo were healthy and the NFL could market that dude's face, they would they would postpone the game. But they look at the Niners and they're like, I mean, we could postpone it, but Jimmy ain't coming back. It's still Mullins. You're still going to lose. Screw you. Go lose. We don't care. I think that's basically their attitude. And it's the same attitude they had in the last game against the Saints. I mean, all you had to do was breathe on Drew Brees, and it was a 15-yard penalty because he's not a football player. He's not a quarterback. He is an investment the league has. He makes the league money. They market him. Nick Mullins, who are you? You don't even have a name. You don't even have a face. If you get hurt, see you later. It's like a different set of rules for Nick. It's a different set of rules for the 49ers. Maybe that's why they kind of like having Jimmy Garoppolo because they're like in this upper echelon tier of teams that have a quarterback that the NFL actually cares about and wants to protect as opposed to poor Nick Mullins. He got blasted in that game. They tried they tried to market him before that Philly game. Remember so so remember when they were when they were showing the top quarterbacks yeah. right there, they had Nick Mullins and not Carson Wentz before that. So they tried that and they, they saw tried. what happened and they were like, yes. "All right, we're not All doing right, that. we're out." And I believe we tried, that's what happened against the Packers too. They're like, "Let's well, vote for what? It's still Nick." Yeah. Which is, it sucks. It makes some respect. My thing is, it's just like there needs to be consistency. That's yes. like the biggest thing. That like, and, and Major League Baseball got a lot of flack for how poorly their season went, but at least they were consistent. Like, if there's a positive test, games postponed. Like, we don't we don't care. We'll find out if it's a false false negative or false positive. Excuse me. Um, I, I just want to consider. Like, the Raiders had to practice all week last week without their starting defense. Yep. against the best team in the NFL or one of the best teams in the NFL. And that, that game was fine. The Raiders also, I guess the consistent, the, the common thread here is the Raiders. Um, they, they had a game earlier in the season where it actually got moved up a couple of mm-hmm. Them mm-hmm. because they wanted to protect that Sunday night game. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, it, it really just depends on who the teams are, the marketing aspect of it. Like they, they're not going to have, because if the Ravens were to play tomorrow with all their positive tests and the Steelers move to 11 and 0, you know, you get that entire week of, well, the Ravens could have beat them if they were healthy. So I, I think the NFL is just trying to avoid that. It, and it's insane to me that they're announcing this 24 hours or more than 24 hours before the game's supposed to kick off. They would have never done that for the Niners Packers game. Period. It's just disgusting, Andrew. And it's like they're playing favorites. Like, well, this game matters. The Ravens still are in it. The Niners aren't. They 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 wrote the Niners off three weeks ago. That's not right. I mean, really. It's the most ridiculous season of all time, and the NFL is meddling in it and playing favorites. It's disgusting. Well, the the, the NFL's plan before the season started, I mean, back in April when all this started, or March, whatever you want to say, was, yeah, it'll be gone by August. We don't need to make a plan to, to combat this. And then it was still here in August, and the NFL's like, well, but we're going to – said they were going to get rid of it. I mean, yeah, we were going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah. In the United States, this is just flabbergast. I'm flabbergasted. Yes. Yeah, that's it. I love that word too. But I mean, uh, the thing is, is this right? I think that the NFL really, um, really, if there was no other games this week, you know, tomorrow, if there was no two other games, they probably don't call this game. They probably force whoever to go out there, like mm-hmm. Harbaugh, strap it up. You're playing special teams this game, like you yeah. know, like get in there, you know. But because they have at least two games, they get a slice of ratings. They'll still. It's still gonna be a nationally televised game on Monday. I think that has a little bit to do with it. Look, do I do I agree that they, the, you know, the way the things shook out with the 49ers? Come on, you know, the fan in me is gonna sit there and say I didn't really like it because you wanted those guys to get on the field. But what? Correct me if I'm wrong. Did Kendrick Bourne like test positive again? Even if they would have moved that game, like he wouldn't even been able to play in that game he did. regardless. He did. That's true. Right. So I mean, it. So yeah, I mean, it sucks. I knew that that was gonna happen right away. But I mean, and then let's let's be even a little bit more frank. Would having those guys have really possibly changed that result? No, I don't know. That one is the one that I have a little bit of tougher. Probably, they still would have had Jerk McKinnon as their starting running back. Right, right? that's what I mean. So it's you like, yeah, I, you know, Ayuk would have been there, you know, and all that stuff. And it's like, 
you know, they probably still would have lost that game. So, yeah. you know, I mean, I get being upset. You know, people were going crazy today, like, to, you know, tagging the commission. It's like, you know, you know, it's – there's other things that play. The 49ers get, you know, a little bit ripped. Yep. But it's how it goes this year, right? This is True. right on par with the things that are going on this year for me. True.